I'm gonna compare Toonly and Beyond and show you what each animation tool does better. I've chosen 10 essential points to compare based on my eight years of experience with different animation tools. You can use the timestamps in the description to jump straight to the points you find most important. If you watch the whole video from start to end, you're gonna get a solid overview of the pros and cons of each animation maker, which will make it easy for you to then decide on the one that fits your needs better. Let's jump straight into the head-to-head -head comparison of Toonly versus Beyond. My name is Ruit and I teach people how to create instructional videos. Both Toonly and Beyond can be used for this, but there are some differences on core functionalities that you need to know before you select your weapon of choice. The reason why you use an online animation maker instead of more advanced tools like Adobe After Effects is to save time, right? You want a tool that enables you to quickly turn an idea into a video without much training and time spent. One of the keys to create a video fast is templates. A template allows you to get off to a good start and then make changes in the template so it fits your story or what you want to tell. Toonly doesn't have any video templates as you can read on their frequently asked questions page that I've linked to in the description. This is because they want users to create their own concept for a more effective and unique video approach. That's all very good, but for a beginner, the blank white canvas can be pretty daunting. So the fact that Beyond has more than 100 video templates with a lot of contemporary themes like remote work, gender and race equality, COVID, etc. makes Beyond a better tool for anyone who wants to use a video template as their point of departure. Toonly does have scene templates and these are good for quickly creating individual scenes. But I miss the business context in those scene templates where you'll mostly find templates at the beach or in the park. On top of their video templates, Beyond also has a lot and much better scene templates to choose from. One point goes to Beyond for their great selection in both video and scene templates. Even though online animation makers are great time savers in themselves, you are going to spend quite a lot of time in either Beyond or Toonly. Therefore, it's important how fast they work so you don't get annoyed with waiting for things to load, for example. Toonly does a great job here, and I love their instant preview function. Hit space, and the scene you're working on plays immediately. In Beyond, you wait a few seconds every time you want to preview a scene. This adds up over time, both in terms of frustration and actual time spent. On top of that, Toonly shows you exactly what happens in every frame of the scene if you move the playhead back and forth. Beyond only does this in preview mode, so you have to wait for the preview to load every time that you want to check that your timing is right. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that Toonly is a program you download and Beyond is 100% browser-based and online. One point goes to Toonly for the speed of their interface. All animation makers come with libraries of characters, backgrounds and props to fill your scenes with. They act like the building blocks you build your scenes and ultimately your whole video with. So the number and variation of building blocks becomes pretty important for the video you'll end out with. Beyond and Toonly does this in different ways. Toonly's standard license comes with a number of scenes, backgrounds, characters and objects, but it's not that much to choose from. The model is that you then have to upgrade to Enterprise to expand all the libraries. Beyond, on the other hand, offers all assets within certain styles on their cheapest plan. Then, if you upgrade to a more expensive plan, you get an additional style called Contemporary and everything that goes with it. So Toonly only has one style and limits you in that style unless you upgrade, where Beyond has multiple styles and gives you everything within those styles. If you want another style, you can upgrade for that. I personally believe that software services should charge you extra when you move from a complete service up to extra services. I do not like when software charges extra to go from a limited service to a complete service. That's not extra, that's just complete. I do want to pay from good to great. I do not want to pay from bad to good. Does that make sense? I believe the libraries in Toonly are too small to cover my creative needs. Too often am I left with an empty result after searching for something I need for a scene. 
Vion's libraries are 10 times larger and are constantly being updated with contemporary stuff to fit the time we're living in. One point goes to Vion for their large libraries available on all planes. Oftentimes you want to include yourself, a colleague or a fictional person as a character in your video. In order to make a character look like yourself, for example, you need a character creator or at least some customization options to change the look of the standard characters. Toonly doesn't have that, Beyond has that. Toonly only offers you about 30 characters to choose from on the standard plan. So if you are a female astronaut or a black president, the chances of finding a character that looks like you are 0%. You're pretty much stuck with the selection in the character library. Even the titles of the characters in Toonly are pretty far off, I'd say. Beyond has a character creator where you can swap and customize any part of a person. This enables you to make unique characters that can be animated and used in your videos. So one point goes to Beyond for their pretty cool character creator. Both Zoomly and Beyond does lip sync. Automatically synchronize the mouth of a character to the sound of an imported voiceover. In both tools, you apply it in the same way. Choose lip sync and select the track you want to sync with. In Toonly, lip sync is a type, as they call character animations. This means that if you want a Toonly character to lip sync, it's the only thing it does. No walking, no waving, just lip sync. In Beyond, lip sync is not a primary action. Beyond characters can do anything while lip syncing at the same time. Present, for example, or walk and talk at the same time. Although I do like the idea of combining lip sync with other actions, I want to give both tools a point for making it super easy to synchronize a character's mouth with an imported voiceover. It is very common to combine multiple actions for a character. For example, typing on a keyboard, standing up and walking out of the scene. Toonly does this seamlessly with perfect transitions from action to action. A character can do as many actions as you want in one scene, and it's very easy to do. Once I read their FAQ and understood their playhead logic for making characters walk, I'll come back to that. Beyond only allows one action per scene. The students from my Beyond course often ask me how to combine actions in Beyond, and the answer is maybe not so intuitive. You have to either use continue last scene and apply the next action in a new scene or use multiple copies of the same character in one scene and make them disappear and appear for each new action. Even though that's doable and you get used to it once you get into that workflow, I still want to give Toonly a point for making it super easy to seamlessly combine actions. As you can see, I really love to combine real-life footage recorded on a camera with animations created in an animation tool. This is only doable if the tool allows for video import. Toonly says no, Beyond says yes. How it works is that you import a video clip, add it to a scene and animate it on top of it. Or you use it as a part of an animated scene like on a computer screen. I use the first method quite a lot, animating on top of a recorded video. Toonly can't do this, but there is a workaround that works for both Toonly and Beyond. If you make the background a color that's very different from the rest of the scene, most video editing software is able to recognize and remove that color. The classic choice is a strong green color that I then remove in iMovie or ScreenFlow. I've made a more detailed video on how to do this if you're interested. But it's just so much easier to import your video clip into Beyond and animate on top of that, instead of going through the green screen exercise. So one point goes to Beyond for supporting video import. If you want a thing or a person to move, you use a playhead logic in Toonly and a motion path logic in Beyond. Toonly's playhead logic takes some time to wrap your head around if you are new to video making but it actually follows the same idea that other tools like iMovie, ScreenFlow and Premiere use. Explained simply, you add something to a scene, which is its starting position. Then you move the playhead to where you want any movement to end and position the thing at its end position. Now the thing will travel from point A to point B 
over the time you've chosen with your playhead. Confusing? Then you'll probably prefer Vion's motion paths. In Vion's, you also add something to a scene, but now you click it and choose motion path. This allows you to choose a point A and point B, then adjust the duration of that travel in the timeline. Two different methods, none is better than the other, so we'll give both tools a point by allowing us to move characters and props around our scenes. This one might be a bit subjective, but there is a big difference in what Toonly videos and Beyond videos taste like. The style of the characters and objects has a lot to say in relation to what context you'll use it in. If you have a business and you want to create video for that business, I wouldn't choose Toonly as a tool. The look and feel is just too cartoonish and cheap in a way. Beyond's three primary styles are all suited for business use and you can customize all props to match them to the colors of your brand. Not possible in Toonly. So when you're choosing a tool, you also have to take a step back and look at what you see. Again, it's a personal and professional preference, but I'm much in favor of the way that Beyond has designed their styles. Last but not least, I put you there. But you're not least. We have to talk about pricing. In short, Beyond is the more expensive option. The monthly subscription is $49. $89, $159, depending on what plan you need. The $49 plan is with a Beyond watermark on exported videos. The $89 plan is without it, but also without the contemporary style. And the $159 plan is with everything they've got. Toonly costs $39 or $69 per month, so about half the price. And I've seen campaigns for Toonly where you get a lifetime standard license for $67. That's a pretty good deal, I'd say, but I still think that Beyond is worth the premium. If you're on a budget, you want to make videos, and you manage to find the Facebook ad with the $67 lifetime deal, then I say Toonly is the better option. So one last point goes to Toonly. With seven points against five points, the winner of today's head-to-head -head between Beyond and Toonly is Beyond. In conclusion, I'll say that Toonly is great for private use, like birthday wishes, invitations, animated greetings, and stuff like that. But Beyond is the better tool for business owners, instructional designers, and freelancers who use it professionally. I do these comparison videos from time to time, and the last one was about Videoscribe versus Beyond in terms of their whiteboard animation features. Beyond also won that one, so it's no secret that I think that Beyond is one of the leading animation tools out there. Even though Toonly states that they are the world's best cartoon explainer video creation tool. My recommendation for you is to read over Toonly's FAQs to know what the tool does and what people are normally concerned about before and after purchasing Toonly. I've also linked to Beyond's video template library that you can use to get an idea of the aesthetics of Beyond, the different styles, and if there are any templates for what you're working with. If you learned anything new in this video, give it a like and subscribe if you are interested in instructional video making. Thanks for watching, take care of yourself and those around you. Oh, 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 oh